How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4. This time, a uh, final tour of Abernathy Farm. Uh, just going to go through pretty quickly and walk past each of my builds. I'm not really going to do interiors or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of show you guys the uh, exterior of every building. There's a build for every single one of these, and I go through full tours of each house uh, a little bit more in depth. But this first one, this is Palin and Dance's house. Um, my idea for it was a little capsule that I just kind of built alongside and then wanted to use their walkways, their barriers that they have at most Brotherhood settlements. And then I just extended it a little bit, made it look a little bit scrappier. And then next, we have the newsstand, like the public public occurrence newsstand that I had built for Piper with the house kind of uh, attached to the back of that. Uh, very similar build, just different kind of building attached to it. Dances, I just kind of put the little wall cutouts from the metal tab on the side. This one was mainly wood. And you'll notice that like literally every single door in every house is open, but I pretty much closed them all because my settlers are going in and out. But this is the Valentine's Detective Agency that I built, uh, just kind of like a little outlet of uh, Nick's Detective Agency, another place for him to work out of. Got a little house for him upstairs, and downstairs he's got his work area. It's a pretty simple building. I honestly think that this and also Hancock's shack can both be used as kind of fillers. Uh, this is a Minuteman, uh, I guess, armory slash barracks, because there's also a bunch of gear in the back, guns, stuff like that. But mainly the idea was just a place to have Preston and uh, some Minutemen to guard the settlement. Very scrappy build. Uh, the building is kind of tiered so that, that one right, the right side is slower and then that one foundation on the left is higher. And then over here we have Hancock's little shack or whatever. Uh, his was a little bit more complicated than Nick's though because I added that little balcony and then also that upstairs area is quite a bit smaller. I didn't add any extra bits. Downstairs there's a little bit of a overhang so that I could have a balcony but that's where his bed is. The next part of the settlement is the defensive tower. So this one I thought was a really interesting build. Just has a uh, just a tower that has a staircase that wraps around up to the roof where someone else can uh, post up. And it's I thought it ended up looking really really good. The next house that I built, uh, Strong's Shack. So I just used the Diamond City Shack. Added a jail type of thing on the back of it because it's strong. It's a super mutant. And then tons of gore and all sorts of messed up stuff because that's how super mutants live for some reason. <laughs> then we will go over to the other side of the settlement. You'll notice as we walk through here, there's a lot of different crops. I, uh, changed the farm quite a bit so that the Abernathy's would have quite a few more uh, variations in crops. And then this is a tower that I built for McCready. Uh, McCready's from the Gunners and he's got a rifle and stuff so I figured that he'd be good to have his own little sniper tower. A uh, little post on top of his house. And then this is Kate's Arena. Very small arena, if it were to be an arena. Uh, not a whole lot of fighting room, but there's a little viewing area. And then Kate's Shack, which also has a viewing area in the middle. Uh, you'll notice that I changed the 
front door, but it was just because they weren't actually using it. And I wanted them to, well, I wanted her to be able to actually go up in her house. Uh, she was just like kind of glitching onto the roof. Thankfully, no one was really glitched out in this video. And actually, a couple people were about where I wanted them. Uh, Hancock was in, in his house. Uh, a lot of the Minutemen are farming and in, in the defensive post. Dance was by his house. But this is a barn that I, uh, this was the last build that I did on the this settlement. Just very scrappy, huge barn that I uh, made for the Brahmin of the settlement, which glitched out of the barn. And then I went ahead and showed you guys that I put a lot more crops. But this barn, I thought, looked, turned out really, really good, just considering that it's just a pretty scrappy house or building, whatever. So some things that I didn't show you guys is I actually built a little bit inside of this uh, place. So up here, I actually built, I glitched in some floors, and then I actually put some beds up here, just so that I could kind of fill that gap. Uh, there's a lot of space in this house that I can actually use. And then also, uh, talking about space that you can use on Abernathy Farm. You'll notice also I filled in a lot of gaps, but other places that you can use it are on top of the house, and I actually built a house for myself up here. Um, just a small little shack with some storage and then uh, just a little area for me, the sole survivor. And also another thing I didn't show you guys, which was originally going to be something for McCready. Um, over here on the right, there's a staircase. I'll just go up here and you'll notice that there's just some supplies, a guard mat and then a bed, and then McCready's hat. So this was actually going to be for McCready, the little sniper's perch, but I didn't show it in a build because it's unbelievably simple. It took no time, and I just figured that I would show you guys in the full tour. But this is my Abernathy farm build. Uh, not quite what I would necessarily do regularly. It's just a companion settlement, but if you guys liked it, make sure you let me know. Check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.